Going to have a little mess about with the Ibiza today. Um, the rear wash wipe isn't squirting water. Not a big issue, but apparently I'm told the pipe comes off the uh, jet and when you press it, it fills the back with water, which could be one of the issues why the car steams up so much. But that said, I've stopped pressing it now and the boot carpet is still wet. Um, hence it's in, in the garage here. That's soaking that is. If you can, you probably can't see it, but yeah, that's soaking. So without pressing it, it's still raining in somewhere. So I'm gonna have a look and see if I can see what's, what's happening there. And also the um, passenger side window doesn't come down. Now I was told by the seller, who I didn't meet, so second hand by the seller, that apparently every time you put a fuse in it pops, so I don't even know if that's true, the motor could have just gone. So I'm gonna check the fuse box, put a fuse in and see what happens first before I mess with that. I doubt I'm gonna take the door card off and have a look if, if that happens. Um, although it's quite sunny out, it's uh, really cold, and that isn't high on my bothered list at the minute, making the passenger side window go down. It's more trying to stop the boot getting wet. So we'll see how we get on. Also, I'm filming this on a mobile and it's really, really windy, so it might be a bit cack. So in Lidl, they have rubber car boot mats. 6.99, I think. Uh, so even if I don't cure the leak, at least it won't soak in. <laughs> Do for now. Just gonna cut that out. Okay, you can see where in the boot someone has took the bung out because clearly this has rained in for a while. Also, I've done a silly thing. If you're gonna cut a mat out, try and lay the cutout part the way up you wanna cut round. Because I've cut that upside down, so now I've got to turn the mat upside down like a dick. Duh. Yeah, you, you can see the pattern of the mat should look like that. And I've put the cutout that way. So now I've got to turn it upside down. What a numpty. Could be worse though, couldn't it? It's not the end of the world. Right, so I have tucked in that crappy boot mat. Um, I've no idea where to even start looking for this leak. I don't want to start covering the car in water. I'm wondering whether it's a tired seal. These aren't very compressible. Um, so it could be that. Uh, or it even could be coming in through the brake light, nuts and bolts, I suppose. But I would doubt that because then the parcel shelf would be wet. It seems to be getting wet sort of beyond the parcel shelf. So it could just be the seal. But at least um, with that in, it's not going to sit there soaking wet. It'll just pull up and run about, I suppose, and then it'll wet these sides, won't it? So that's a stupid thing to say. But anyway, it's a different way of saying I can't be asked to find the leak. Right, so the issue I've got is the squirter is obviously built in here. And you've got to get this off. Their access to the lights. I've just felt under here, there are a couple of screws, but I think, sorry, under there, look, can you see? I'll take them out anyway, but I'm presuming they're just for the grab handles. But I'll take off as much as I can, see if I can see. I presume it's just gonna be plastic clips that I'll pull off. So bear with. Okay, so I've undone the screw. It's a Torx bit actually, and you can see someone's already been in here and tried the cable tie trick, but the pipe is off. So we shall persevere and pull this off. Uh, you never know, it might be leaking in around the lights as well, so have a look. All right, I don't need to get any more off than that. It was held on by two more screws. Um, here, look. So, let's just see what I can do. It's very hard plastic, that's the problem. That's why it's popping off. The cable tie isn't gonna do much to that. So I'll have to investigate this further, yeah. Instead of being a bit of a rubber pipe, that cable tie is doing nothing. Hmm. Right, so I'm going to take it all the way off. Two more screws under this. 
Right, before I go any further, I'm going to see if it squirts out water. I taped it up there so it fires it on the floor rather than in my boot. No water. Curious. Right, it may look like I've taken some of the engine off. It's only a cover and a pipe. Um, I noticed when it was squirting, the pump was obviously running, but then I noticed water running down my street. And uh, yeah, it's firing out of a pipe down here, but I couldn't see which one. So now we're about to find out. Somewhere here, one thing. Why would water be there? That's a bit weird. Curiouser and curiouser, said Alice. Do we think the clip was too far back? because it's not coming out. What's it doing? Hmm. How strange. Maybe the pipe's split. I don't know how much of this you can see. I'm being a terrible YouTuber. Turn that fan off, I'll have a flat battery next. Still can't work out why a pipe that looks like it comes from the radiator feed is squirting when I press the pump. I can't get that off and turn that fan off anyway. Right, this could end in tears. Let's see if the water comes out of there now. In which case, it might be that pipe. Well, that's a no then. So it's not that one. It's up there somewhere. Alright, so stripping this down, believe it or not, this really fat pipe here, which I cannot understand why the washer jets work off that, because it's it looks to me like that is um what's it called heater pipes, you know, heater matrix. To me anyway. That's going in there, sure. I mean, this this is what's confusing me. This is all fed off the radiator and everything into there. When I'm pressing the the washer jets, this is squirting 100%. I cannot for the life of me. Oh, I'll show you. Can that be true? And yeah, as we always say, be, be careful of uh, deflection. I knew that was heating, it had to be. But if you, I've just stuck my head down here. If you can see, can you see? I bet you can't, in that gap there. Hang on, let me try and hold the camera. And touch where my finger is there. Can you see that pipe with a and cable tie on it. That is squirting up and hitting that and making it look like it was coming from there. So, where the bloody hell does that attach to then? This'll be fun. Right, with the air cleaner out, we see the culprit. 
and this does look what I was hoping to find which is thinner ball pipe I feel the right doofus but of course the water deflecting made it look like it was coming from there so now I've got to try and make that stay on there clearly again someone's tried this before and hasn't worked um, I think we're gonna have to put a bit of adhesive on with it aren't we oh there's my finger look great YouTube content right so the first thing I've done is rerouted the pipe under the ABS controller so I've now got a lot more slack this is going to hopefully take the pressure off it and I'm going to try and clamp it together a bit better than that uh, don't quite know how cable ties aren't very good but we'll see and of course the worst things happen my tea's gone cold shocking right that's pushed together um, it snaps together quite good actually I don't know why they force themselves off I've um, just took the cable tie off for now I'm now going to watch water squirt out the back hopefully and then we'll put all this back together and clip it up somehow okay all right so engineering solution or bodge again um, a bit of petrol pipe there which I've slit down the middle because basically the bore wasn't big enough to slide over the top and then Jubilee clipped it both ends my thinking is the water pressure is forcing it apart and popping off obviously this is hard plastic pipe so the cable tie is doing nothing because it's not compressing it but Jubilee clips in theory on rubber are biting into that so I'm hoping that that solves the issue this end Okay, we're all back together, and uh, fingers crossed, all is good. Right, so on to the back one. It's quite strange because they make a satisfying snap when they go on, and you'd think that that would be it. Cable ties, as I say, is going to do nothing. That is really hard plastic. It's not going to compress. So the water pressure is forcing it backwards and popping off. So I'm wondering whether I can put a cable tie around that to hold it there and then around that sort of as well, if you get me. Right, it's all about the triangulation, I think. So cable tie around the whole motor, holding that effect on and then cable tie around the pipe onto the end and then through that as well. I can't see that coming off now, but we'll find out, won't we? Okay, so fuse box off. Um, this fuse here is the electric window on the passenger side and also the electric mirror. It had popped and um, it now works as does the mirror um, so there is definitely a short what happens is if you can see in this side the wires chafe in there it's a common fault on these Volkswagen type cars I am not in the mood to pull that out and have a look but at least I know the motors okay um, so I've obviously got a few fuses spare I'm going to leave it until the, although it's really sunny, the wind's really cold and I've had enough, I've had nothing to eat and it's now nearly one o'clock. That um, squirty thing was a bloody nightmare. Okay, I shall draw this one to an end. Oh, excuse me, picking up fuses. I'll draw this one to an end. Um, yeah, it's a nothing video, but it's a bit. At least I know now what is up with that mirror and motor and at least like I say the motor isn't knackered it's just going to be a short somewhere so um, I'll have a look at that when the weather's better I've got a squirty back window now which is cool and hopefully they won't pop off again what else did I do nothing really just took loads of bits apart didn't I oh yeah the leak in the back I'll wait till it rains or wait till I'm in the mood for it it's not the end of the world yeah, it's an old car in it 
Anyway, catch you later. <laughs> Fail.